So on the 1st of April this year, an iconic Dunedin Live music venue called Dog With Two Tails had their final music gig, which was called Dog Fest. And I went along and I filmed some of the musicians who were playing there. It really had me thinking about how Dog With Two Tails impacted me as a musician and had an influence on my music journey. I came to realize that it was the most significant place for me as a musician. And this is because of their open mic nights. Every Wednesday they would have open mic nights there and I went along because Dog With Two Tails was the only place that I'd ever seen with a piano. So I could actually go there and play my solo piano music and have a blast. When I moved to Dunedin, I moved to an inner city apartment that was like right next door to Dog With Two Tails and I was always aware that they had their open mic nights on Wednesdays but I never went because I thought it wasn't for me. You know, I thought it was for guitarists and singers, not piano players, right? Until one day I was walking back home from getting my grocery shopping and I had my grocery bags with me and I looked over the road and it was like so busy. For whatever reason, I was just drawn into it and I spontaneously just wrote my name down and literally moments later the guy called my name he's like Joshua St. Clair and I'm like oh me and I walk up there with my with my grocery bags and I'm like into the mic everyone's looking at me I'm like uh I'm gonna play some piano music I guess so I went to the piano and I just played that thing I played that piano so hard and oh my god it was one of the most incredible moments as a musician, I'm not exaggerating. This moment was mind-blowing. I was actually, because I've been practicing the piano so long up until that point, but I wasn't doing anything with my music. And then suddenly my music had a purpose. I was there performing my music to a whole room of people and they were listening and they were engaging with me. I was playing this like epic piano groove and I was having the most fun time and I could feel the energy of the room and I was like, feeding off that energy and putting it back into the piano and it was an absolutely exhilarating experience and I feel like that is what music is about you know what I mean it's about like sharing it with other people sharing it in a space with like-minded people and people who actually listen and engage with it and so after that day I was absolutely hooked I went every single Wednesday to these open mic nights just to perform to other people and get that same experience I was absolutely pre- proven wrong. Open mic nights aren't just for like singer songwriters. They are for every kind of musician. I think they are honestly so powerful and they had such an impact on me as a musician. That's why I'm making this video and I've actually got a list of five reasons, five incredible benefits that I got from going to these open mic nights every week if my story didn't already convince you. <laughs> okay, so my first point is that open mic nights are a place to go and share your music in a casual setting. So the whole point of the open mic night is that it's open. It's an open mic night. It's a microphone for everybody. It doesn't matter where you stand on the spectrum of musical skill. It doesn't matter if you're an advanced player or a beginner player. It doesn't matter what style you play. The whole point is that it's open and it's community based. It's for the community, I feel. So I feel that open mic nights are a really great place to just go and perform some music and do whatever you want to do. You can make it whatever you want to make it. You know what I mean? Like maybe you've been practicing some awesome guitar chops I feel like open mic nights are a great place to like exhibit those new skills or maybe you've written a new piece of music and you want to trial it out well open mic nights are a great place to like go and share that and see how the audience like feeds off it is it working maybe it's not working maybe you can go there and actually like practice your performance maybe you've got a big gig coming up later in the month you can go to an open mic night and practice that performance you can practice your projection or maybe you can just go and have a fun time like it's so much fun at open mic nights just playing music just sharing your music and the whole point is that it's a casual setting no no one's there to judge you you know what I mean like everyone's there just to share music to have a fun time maybe you've never performed before open mic nights are a great place to start performing my second point is that by going to open mic nights you become part of a music community and a scene I've always been a part of music communities so I've always gained the benefits that they offer I can tell you right now that music communities are 
the most powerful thing and the most important thing for musicians, I feel anyway. Definitely for me, being a part of a community and being in a scene has had such a dramatic impact for me as a musician. Music is a social thing, you know what I mean? Like in your town, in your community, there is a buzz. There is music that is flowing. It's like this river, right? It's like this current. And when you become part of a community, you're like tapping into that current. You're tapping into that buzz. And by extension, you are gaining all of the combined creativity and inspiration and enthusiasm and energy and vibe and taste and identity. I could go on. There are so many benefits to being a part of a music community. And guess what? Open mic nights are like a cheat code into getting into a music community. I'm stumbling upon my words here, but trust me when I say this, open mic nights give you like instant access into a music community. It's filled with musicians who want to share their music, who are probably already a part of the community. So if you want to join your local music community, go to open mic nights because that's where these people are hanging out. At these open mic nights, everyone is just like you. They're all musicians who want to improve and want to write more music and produce music and you know improve their craft and practice and grow their audience and you know what I mean like everyone's doing the same thing and so when you're around like-minded people you all raise up you know what I mean it's like you all get the same buzz you all get the benefits and everybody wins that's the beautiful thing everybody wins because everyone's just sharing the music and sharing the buzz and I think that's such a powerful thing for musicians <laughs> I'm really sorry I'm like getting so excited about this because these are the benefits that I've gained and I really hope that you can experience the same things that I have. Going to open mic nights have given me that sense of community. If you want a sense of community, if you want to be a part of something bigger, trust me, go to open mic nights. They have worked for me and I guarantee they will probably work for you too. My third point, which goes along with the previous point, is that open mic nights are a great place to network and find collaborations. When I went to these open mic nights every single week, I can't even tell you how many opportunities that I got as a musician, how many doors opened just because I was attending them and sharing my own music. And the point that I want to stress here is that it doesn't matter what instrument you play or what kind of music you play there is probably a purpose for it you know what I mean like there are people in your community and in your town who are looking for the kind of skills that you can provide let me explain it by how I gained from this point I'm a pianist I'm a keyboard player I don't sing so I, I literally just went there to play the piano and it might seem like you know open mic nights aren't for pianists or whatever but absolutely not at these open mic nights are all kinds of musicians who have music projects and guess what a lot of them need pianists and keyboard players. I had this guy come up to me once and he was like, hey man, I'm producing this video game and I love your jazzy piano playing. Do you want to compose a soundtrack to this game that I'm making? And I'm like, hell yeah, man, that sounds sick. I had this guy come up to me once and he was like, hey, I've got this session booked and I'm recording an album and we really need a pianist. Do you want to jump in? So I was like, yeah, I want to jump in. I found a band from playing at these open mic nights. There was this dude duo, this acoustic duo who really liked my playing and they needed a keyboard player for their band, so I joined their band. There's this incredible local musician called Ollie Crooks. I met him at these open mic nights and just recently he had his album release show and he invited me. He asked me to play keys for it and I'm like, yeah, sure, and I jumped in and it was an incredible time and I met him at these open mic nights. So what I'm saying is that just by going and sharing my sound and the thing that I have to offer, which is solo piano music and grooves and stuff there were people there who needed my my sound in their sound and so i was able to network and collaborate with musicians by just being myself and that's what you want so that is the power of open mic nights for finding collaborations and networking with other musicians so my fourth point is that open mic nights are a great place to find a mentor there was this guy who was always at dog with two tails he basically lived there his name was nick knox and he was a pianist as well an incredible classical pianist and composer and so he was there every single wednesday playing the piano sharing his music and you know i rocked up this young buck with a big beard and i just you know i was just like ripping into the piano back then i just like played as many notes as i could 
this guy, Nick Knox, you know, we started to develop rapport and we, we kind of became like, you know, friends and, you know, mutual interest of the piano. And he started to like give me a lot of great advice on just playing the piano more like deliberately and more from the heart and more relaxed. And like he gave me so much advice on like composing solo piano music. Yeah, I met Nick Knox through these open mic nights and I improved so much as a musician just by how he was observing me playing. See, that's where this is so powerful because these people, these mentors that you find, they can actually observe your playing in a practical setting and they can provide feedback on that playing. And then you can come back next week and like work on that feedback. So I think it's a really great place to develop that mentorship. And this is something that I had with this guy, Nick Knox. Unfortunately, Nick Knox passed away a couple of years ago. Rest in peace, Nick Knox. He was an incredible guy and he was one of my piano mentors and I met him at these open mic nights and I think that you might potentially meet a mentor for yourself. The thing is with open mic nights as I said earlier there's people of all skill level there so it might be that there is somebody there who plays your instrument really well and you could try to build some rapport with this person you know ask some questions like try to get to know them better if you go regularly maybe you can become friends and you can learn from them yeah yeah, if you want to find a mentor, go to open mic nights because I think you might be able to find one there. Okay, my fifth and final point is that by going to open mic nights, you are supporting live music and live music venues. Okay, I think this is like the most important point because Dunedin is actually losing live music venues. As I explained at the start of this video, Dog With Two Tails, this place that I'm gushing over at the moment has closed its doors for good which is such a great shame because Dunedin keeps losing its live music venues you know we're musicians and the thing that we have to offer our community is our music right so we ha we have our music the community is over here how do we bridge music and community it's through these venues right it's through events and through venues this is how communities are formed this is how music scenes are born oh my god I there's so much to go into here I'm gonna have to make a whole video on music communities because I've talked about it a lot in this video live music is so powerful I feel like it's like the beating heart of a town it's it's part of a town and a community's culture it's like a fire you know what I mean and Every live music venue where there is live musicians playing their music, it's like another flame that adds to this greater flame that is music, right? And so when you go to open mic nights and you share your music there, you're adding fuel to the flame that is live music. And here's the thing, when you go to open mic nights and you share your music and just have a mean time, and open mic nights are populated with musicians doing this, then guess what? People are gonna be walking down the street and they're gonna look into this place and they're gonna be like, yo, what's going on in there? That looks sick, let's go in there. And so they, they go into this like bar or venue and they pay money and so this keeps the venues alive and healthy and that's what we want and so this is a really practical way that you can actually provide value to your community as a musician just go to these open mic nights share your music play music and yeah as i said you are providing fuel to the flame that keeps the music alive so go and share your music in these open mic nights okay i'm exhausted now i have explained my five reasons i really hope that i've inspired you to go to your local open mic night i've explained all of the things that i gained from them and i really hope that you can experience the same kind of magic that i did at open mic nights i think that's it thank you so much for watching this video i know that your time and focus is valuable so i really do appreciate it and i am grateful that you spent your time here with me talking about open mic nights if you're not already don't forget to vibe and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video no i'll see you at the next open mic night <laughs> see ya